I am very excited to show you today about Visual Studio Code. I've been using it for two to three weeks now, and I've never looked back again at Sublime Text. I've been a Sublime Text user for about three years now, and it does everything I want it to do, but I feel like I need something different. So recently I saw a post on Hacker News about Visual Studio Code, so I decided to download it and give it a try. And it's been two weeks, you know, I've been discovering its features and everything, and I really appreciate the power this editor offers to the developer. So in this video, I'm going to show you seven reasons why I switched to Visual Studio Code from Sublime Text. Here's a website for Visual Studio Code. It's available for all platforms, so it doesn't matter if you're on OS X or Linux or Windows. This, this program is built cross-platform, so it will run on any operating system. Now, the first reason why I like Visual Studio Code is that it's stable. Now, if you're a user of Sublime Text, you should know about how often it crashes no matter what you were doing, like simply opening a program or leaving it open for too long, it just crashes. So that leaves me very frustrated when I'm working on something and had to go back to it. It really disrupts my flow. And after two, three weeks of using Visual Studio Code, I have not had it crash once. And I installed it on a lower end computer too, and it still runs butter smooth. So I'm really impressed with the developers behind the software to make it very stable. The second reason I like Visual Studio Code is the syntax highlighting. I know you, you can say, hey, this is just another theme, but to me, this feels very different. I cannot explain it uh, very, the reason, but it just looks different and the code itself, the fonts and the style that this thing generates, it just makes me want to code uh, while using it, you know, it's really pleasing to the eye. I, I'm still using the default theme, so I didn't really install anything new because I don't feel like I need anything new. So compared to Sublime Text, this just feels more modern and professional. Now, the third reason I like Visual Studio Code is the built-in Git integration. So I know Sublime could do it too, but this thing it's basically built in. I don't need to download any extensions or programs to make it do it. So let's say I make a change here to this uh, this file. As you can see, it quickly tells me that there's some changes via the Git integration. So here, you know, I can just do a add it to staging and say change file. This is a commit message, and you can just basically hold down command enter and it'll add it'll commit this file. If you want to push it, there's a push thing. So you that you can do many things here. Um, so I'm gonna undo this very right here and if I want to uh, get the latest version from the server and basically undo what I made, the changes I made to this file, I can just do click on this button and it'll clean it up and you see it went back to 3.0.0. So the full Git integration is built in. You can also press Command P, you know, the famous shortcut from Sublime Text, and you can do, you know, Git checkout, and, you know, new branch, blah, 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 and it, it just works right there. So you never have to leave your editor to go to the terminal and do things. So I really like that part. The fourth reason I like Visual Studio Code is the built in debugger. So this is really cool if you're working from, um, I'm just going to demo the Node.js debugger. So let's say I'm working on this file called async waterfall.js and you can set a breakpoint basically anywhere by clicking on, you know, button here, button there, it will just uh, set a breakpoint. And when you do that, you can click on this button here and this will start the debugger. You basically have to, if, it, if it's the first time you launch it, you have to generate, it'll generate a launch.json file. Here you can specify the entry point for this, uh, this app, for your Node.js app. For me, in this case, it's just this async waterfall.js, but if you're like an express program, you'll be something like app.js. 
So after I run it, I click on the play button and it will basically take me to the debug mode of this program. So I'm basically um, basically I'm debugging. Like no, I don't need to do console log or anything. Like I have all my variables here. I can look at the values of each variables straight from this uh, code editor. So it's really handy if you do a lot of debugging. It's very similar to Node Debugger, I guess, but it's built in, integrated right into the editor. The fifth thing I like about Visual Studio Code is the productivity increase. So the software comes with a lot of um, standard, I would say, um, features that you would expect from the code editor. Coming from Sublime, you should know some of these that actually exist in Sublime, um, such as like bracket uh, matching. So you can see it finds the matching bracket very easily. Um, you can do command, like highlight something and press command D to like select all of them and then you can do edit them all at once. You can also, you know, right click on this thing and then you, know, you can do find all references will change all ref occurrences. You click on that, it's the same thing as, you know, editing on all at once. Um, you can also, the real, I really like this function here is that you can peek into the function definition. So get user avatar, um, or let me just pick a random, fun like here. I mean, I can just pick anything and then you can right click and then you can peek definition. You can see where this is being defined immediately without going to there. You can also like jump, if you're inside a function, you can go to the definition of the function. It will take you right there, you know, to, if I'm using get user avatar somewhere, it'll just take me to the definition of the function. So you can quickly find where a function is being defined. Um, Visual Studio Code provides you with IntelliSense, which is auto code completes. So you can, you know, use like for JavaScript, it understands I'm editing a JavaScript file and it tells me all these functions, APIs that are available for this particular, you know, object. In this case, the math object. And you can just do press it and then, you know, it tells you the parameters that this function expects. So it's really good that you no longer have to go out to Google to search for the definition of certain functions. Um, it works for a lot of languages and not just JavaScript, so it provides you with many, many languages where you can check it out. Um, the other thing I really like is the, the color palette here. So if you do a color, you know, another color and you do some hex value it automatically tells you how it looks like by showing you a preview of this icon of the color so you know just small stuff that it comes with the editor so you don't have to up to download any uh, extensions so the sixth thing I like about Visual Studio Code is the customization it provides very uh, unique customization options where it's very similar to Sublime Text where you can have a preference for keyboard shortcuts, you know, even the snippets. Um, I could link, link you to a URL in the description where you can find a lot more about these things. Uh, and it also offers a marketplace. So that's the standard uh, place where you can go to extend the editor capabilities. So you can have themes or plugins to make the editor very, very powerful. So I've, if you check out the article for this video, I've listed some of my favorite extensions for Visual Studio Code. And the last thing about, I like about Visual Studio Code is the Insider Edition. So similar to Chrome Canary and Firefox's nightly, nightly build, Visual Studio Code offers a daily build version of his software called Insider Edition. This is very, it could be buggy sometimes, but you get to see features that are up and coming in the next release. And you get to help out the developers by previewing, testing these experimental features. So I highly recommend you check this out if you wanna see what's coming down the pipeline. And it's open source, so you can contribute to the software if you need. So I'm really impressed by Microsoft in 
what they're doing recently to the open source community. So this is just my quick introduction into why I like um, Visual Studio Code and I've been using it for three weeks without going back to Sublime Text. And it really made my day better by changing things up. So if you are using this and will plan on using it, let me know what you think about it and I want to hear from you. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.